Good morning, good morning, hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning so far. So this morning I'm going to give you guys kind of over the years. I've been trying to learn how to do latte art for years. As you guys know, I've been put a lot of video on it. How to pull latte art, you know, it's been miserable. It's been really miserable. But, okay, the one thing I learned last, it's been like, I mean, I know it for last couple of years, okay. You know, let's jump into it right now. The key to uh, doing a great latte art, you know what, not even say great, just any latte art is you need to slow down, okay? Slow down your pull. Because as you see my videos, I go too fast. Here's the thing about the slowing down, even though, okay, my mind said, I told, my, I told myself I need to slow down by at least 50%. But once I start doing the pull, guess what? My body's not listening to me, okay? My body's not listening to me. So, I mean, that's the when your practice comes in. That's the when you gotta practice and practice and practice. That's why regular home baristas <clears throat> is really hard to achieve that, kind of like compared to professional baristas out there doing beautiful tulips or rosettas. Because they are even, I mean, they know how to do it. So even, if a kind of like body memory, if you've done enough repeti uh, repetition, you are going to just do it. So this morning, we're gonna try that one more time, okay? I'm gonna be uh, doing the uh, live demo for you. Uh, I, I think I did the uh, milk frothing video a couple of days ago. If you have missed it, uh, go watch it. If not, the key to great milk frothing, with especially Brista Pro or Express, I put too much air in it, okay? That's the, my problem as well. So. Maybe, maybe one or two seconds of air, maybe two or three seconds, put the air in it and the froth and milk, and then we are going to pull the shot. Okay, so first, let's pull the shot first. Uh, I'm gonna switch the camera angle so you guys can see it better. There we go. So, we're gonna get going pretty soon. So I'm gonna pull the shot here. Lock it in. <clears throat> I got my latte glass up. Hope you guys can see it there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna measure the shot. I'm just gonna go about 25 or 30 second shot here. I'm gonna be doing my manual mode. I'm just gonna hold down the single double, double cup button. I'm gonna wait about three seconds and let go. As you can see, Coffee looks pretty good there. Beautiful dark espresso coming down. I'm at about 25 seconds. I'm gonna stop now. Yeah. Shot looks great. All right, so let's do some milk frothing. Okay. Again, first, just let it run for a couple of seconds. Okay. Because you, we need to purge the, all the water first. If you hear the pump is kicking, stop, submerge it, and introduce just like that, okay? Do quick. And I'm gonna introduce the air about three or uh, two seconds. One, two, that's it. And I'm going to just start heating up some milk right now. Just heating up your, your milk. Just like so. If you guys just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Here we go. As you can, you see that kind of like circular motion going on right now. So right now we are creating the microphone foam. And then I'm touching the bottom here. If the bottom is too hot to touch, is ready. Okay, make sure you have a wet paper towel to wipe it clean. And flush one more time. There we go. All right. So we have milk is ready. So the milk should be look like wet paint. Okay. 
I'm just gonna get the bubble out. You see that kind of like wet paint there? So that's what we want. All right, so let's do the latte art. This is it. Here's what we're waiting for. Like I said, go slow, okay? The key to, I'm gonna break the crema first. I'm gonna go slow. Again, I know what you need to do, but actually doing it is a different story. So I'm just gonna put the base milk down, just the base, and then I'm gonna go slow here. So here's the key. Just a slow, shake it, something like that, okay? Again, not perfect, but I tell myself slow enough to create that little bit of latte art there. Hold on a second here. I mean, I think that's the most of us struggle with, especially, you know, latte art. I know what if I look at it, you know, from, you know, done by professional, you know what, I wish I like to do that. The problem is I go too fast some point. I mean, again, I mean, this, I mean, this looks okay. It's not great, but you know what? I mean, if I'm going to show it to my friends, I mean, you know, I see, you know, I see some kind of art there, isn't it? It's not like some, you know, blob. So again, I mean, if you're brand new to the machine, if you guys want to start learn how to do latte art, first is uh, learn how to do uh, texture milk, okay? That's, so that is number one key, okay? So make sure work on the milk texturing, the frothing is number one. And then after that, you know, that's kind of like plus, right? Uh, so th this is one for my son here. So he likes two, uh, two pumps for my son. And uh, I like to do only. I like to use about one pump, though. I don't know about you guys. Uh, by the way, le uh, let me know in the comment section. You guys use one or two pumps on your uh, latte. I know some of you out there, like purist, no sugar, but <clears throat> at least I like to have at least one. I'm gonna have one sip for a second. Man, you know what? The having the right mix. Uh, milk texture is a key. So anyway, coffee's ready. Here. I'm gonna give it to my son over there. By the way, I'm gonna big shout out to Marshall. So Marshall is, welcome back Marshall. It's been a while buddy. Anyway, so uh, if you have any questions or comment, uh, let me know, okay, uh, I'm, I'm looking at your live chat right now. I mean, how's your latte art, all right? How's your lot here? Hold on a second. We have someone asking you a question. Hun, uh, I've been <clears throat> struggling steaming the milk with my Bra uh, Bra Bra Brista Pro. Okay, so I do have the video on that a couple of days ago. So, so sometimes we over steam it. That's the problem. So make sure, you know what? Hold on a second. <clears throat> the key is get one of these, you know, I mean, it's a, a temperature gauge, so you know the temperature of your milk first. Because uh, ideally, like between 130 and 150, I'm trying to stay around one, uh, 135 to 140. So, so if you are getting into, if you are starting to learn how to do your latte, you know, the milk, uh, milk frothing, put it in there, and uh, trying to remember what they feel like, okay, starting to start going over like 120 and 130. For me, my hand is getting, I mean, it's too hot to touch. So that's the when I need to stop the, you know, uh, milk frothing. So again, so you kind of like learn how to do it. Don't over steam it, okay? I know most of us, if you over steam it, you are going to become a flat milk. So instead of a regular latte, you are going to make flat white, okay? That's, you are going to make flat white there, so. So again, comes to pull the latte art, just go slow down, okay? I know <clears throat> even though your mind say, go slow, but somehow my hand, it just go too fast. But I mean, even uh, this latte 
are as well. I was going still, still fast. So, I mean, that's, uh, that comes with the practice. Yeah. So it comes to the practice. So, I mean, don't get too struggle with it. I, I, I know if you guys were struggle and don't just enjoy the, enjoy the coffee. Enjoy the coffee. I mean, hopefully, you know, coming years, if I'm lucky enough to make a decent art, that's plus. But you know what? If not, at least you're going to have a great coffee in the morning. Hold on a second here. I'm going to look at some, uh, look at your comments. By the way, uh, make sure join, yeah, join the live chat, okay? I mean, we have a great group of community here. I mean, it's fantastic. I mean, you guys have been great. Uh, by the way, uh, Marshall say no sugar, not allowed. So, you know, some people like no sugar. Personally, I like to have like one pump, okay? Just the one pump. <clears throat> that little bit of sugar, they bring out all the great, the tasting note in your coffee, I mean, especially caramel, okay? I'm a big fan of caramel, so yeah. And you know what? <clears throat> but this is your coffee, guys. Okay, don't tell anybody how to make your coffee, okay? Don't tell anyone how to make your coffee. All right, what, what else? I think, okay, great, not going to work. Someone, is, is that Tha uh, Thanos? Is that Thanos? Thanos Infinity? By the way, we have viewers from all over the world. Okay, we have viewers from all over the world here. Okay, hold on, we have a, we have a big, hold on. Someone's writing me a term paper there, you say, Lat Lashian, okay. Bravo Brista Pro. Okay, I've, okay. I, hold on a second, guys. I have a hard time reading the comments. Hold on, hold on a second. Here we have somebody has okay, Brista Pro. I find that I have been steaming milk, steam one. I go it's almost no pressure for a few, few seconds. Hold on, go almost. Okay, so you gotta wait. Okay. <clears throat> Because I mean, even like my bro, uh, I, I, I hope this is the right, I'm getting it right. Whenever you start your steam one, you gotta wait, okay? You gotta wait till uh, pumps kick in. And then, start into the thing. So I think that's what you are talking about, I hope. Yeah. Go 100% and keep doing it for a few seconds. I mean, if there's something wrong with your, I mean, so you saw my uh, Steam 1 works, right? If your Steam 1 is not work like this, return it, okay? Uh, get a new one. Because the Steam, when it uh, comes to uh, Steam, should be, I'm gonna start it, like so. Wait about two or three seconds, you're gonna kick sense, okay? Just like that. So, if he doesn't do that, yeah, you have something wrong with your machine. What else there? We have a mug. Let's see here. Someone asking me about the milk picture. Is that a milk picture? So this is milk picture from just a regular Amazon brand. Okay. And then uh, someone asking, what is the best temperature for latte art? Again, I mean, it's about milk texturing. I think anywhere between 130 and 150 should be good. I guess I prefer around 130 or so, 130 to 140 range there. But ultimately, you have to drink the coffee, right? So, you, I mean, just, you know what, make the temperature what you like. I mean, if you have to sacrifice a latte art for it, so be it. So, I mean, that's great for, you know, taking pictures of it on your Instagram. But, yeah, I mean, I mean, who cares, right? So, yeah, just make sure, okay, get the temperature you like. What else? I think, I think we are pretty good this morning. Okay, just make sure be careful with it. Okay, make sure be careful whenever you are doing the steaming your milk there. Uh, by the way, uh, finally, I, I talked to San Anthony Industry. Okay, if you're a big fan of, I mean, if you guys are watching my channel for over the years, I use a lot of product from San Anthony Industry. Okay, these guys are great. Uh, they make these wonderful tools. So last year, once a year, we trying to go kind of like some kind of discount coupon code for you guys. So last year, we did that for Father's Day last year. I think we did like 15% last year. And then this year, we are doing it for Mother's Day. So I told them maybe 
they can you know help help us out by giving us coupon code so starting tomorrow okay they're going to give you guys a 20 percent off i don't know entire purchase or one item i'm not sure i'm gonna give you more information tomorrow morning okay so it's gonna be 20 percent off coupon code coming uh coming tomorrow so if you guys are a big fan of san anthony industry products i mean tomorrow is the I mean, I think they're going to go on for the like next couple of weeks. Could be a month. I'm not sure how long, but yeah. So I'm going to get the more information by tomorrow for you guys. Because, I mean, I do really like their product. So, I mean, this is not a sponsor ad, anything like that. But I, be, I mean, just like this apron. This apron from Sanitan Industry. They're premium. You know, so you got to pay premium price. So whenever we got a discount code, I'm very excited for it. Okay, what else there? Uh, you got Jermaine, can you put a link to those tools? Uh, you know, what? I'm going to put the link tomorrow for you guys, okay, their website. You know, if not, yeah, just wait till the coupon code, all right? I think it's going to be 20%. Should be great, okay. <clears throat> you say, hold on a second, we have uh, buy, buy, why does my coffee feel, feel like burnt? Hold on a second here, am I, am I reading it right here? Hold on a second. So we have, uh, why does my coffee feel like burnt? I get 32, okay, 32 to 35 gram. So you got well, about one to, two uh, one to two ratio there in 27 and 28 seconds. That's great. I mean, that comes to recipe wise, that's pretty good recipe. Uh, coffee tastes burnt. Are you drink as a what? Espresso? Uh, Americano, latte, I mean, I mean, how do you drink it? And so, I mean, that's all depends on, I mean, what you guys like to drink. And the place is all about the, yeah, make a latte, what kind of coffee, you know what I mean? It all depends on the what coffee you're using it as well. It's all about the coffee. It's not the, it's not the machine, it's not the tools. It's all about the coffee, what kind of coffee you drink in the morning. So if you're drinking good coffee, you're gonna have great latte. Bad coffee, obviously, you know, bad latte there. You got the liver blow, okay. What's the best temper in your opinion? You know what, let's talk about that, okay. I mean, that is a big one. You know what, maybe I should talk about it sometime today as well, my another, let's do another live streaming because comes the tools, I don't think there's no such thing as the best tools out there. It's about, I mean, it's fit into your budget. Because, you know, if Amazon temper, personally, they're good enough, okay? If you go with, what, Big Step from Portman, that's $185. That's great looking, you know, well made. Is that worth $185? It all depends, but yeah. Yeah, you know what, I mean, that is a great topic. Because I know you guys want to, you know, wants to know what is the best, okay? What is the best grinder, the best tools, the best coffee machine? Goodness. All right, hold on a second here. I think we are cooker for coffee, milk, and caramel. We'll fix that burnt taste. I mean, if you put anything, Okay, it doesn't matter how bad your coffee is, put some uh, whole milk in it, some little bit of sugar, your coffee is gonna be definitely drinkable, definitely tasty for sure. Because I mean this, so I'm using the, it's not a Torani, okay? So I'm using the Torani bottle, but I've been using the coffee syrup from Monin. Man, so I think Torani, make sure, if you are getting Torani, just make sure you get the pure made so that's 100 percent sugar not the one of those uh high fructose corn syrup so make sure you get the uh the real sugar <coughs> that's much better let's see here what else there i think we are hold on uh we have someone mentioned about the trying to join you know what? okay so i'm gonna get the okay so my i'm gonna get the discord link for you all right let's do for discord link update for you guys okay you say uh, can you show us your latte art with oat milk 
you know, maybe I, maybe I should do that, maybe like next couple of days. Because, uh, you know what, uh, I've, I've been using the, just, the, just the oat milk, not the, make sure you get the right oat milk too. I mean, they have all kinds of brands. But one of my favorite brand is, uh, the brand is the, the Oatly, okay? The Oatly makes two different types of oat milk, uh, uh, regular oat milk or Brista version, okay? So Brista oat. So Brista oat is, man, smart butter is like $4.50, uh, $4 it's pretty pricey. But you can get the big uh, container thing, $4.99, like about five bucks, twice more. So uh, I've been using that one. Works pretty good. So yeah, definitely, definitely works pretty good there. Hold on a second here. Uh, let's see. We have a, we have a shout out to Dogman22. He just pulled shot 300 on his Bravo Brista Express. 300 shots. Way to go, buddy. I think he, he just got that machine last year, so yeah, that's, he, uh, he's, doing, he's doing pretty good there. He, he loves that coffee in the morning. Man, he knows how to drink coffee. Let's see, what else? Okay, I think we are, I think I pretty much cover all your questions there this morning. By the way, if you are new to the channel, welcome, okay? If you haven't subscribed my videos, I mean, you know what? I mean, I mean, if you want to feel like, if you feel like, you know, subscribing, subscribe, okay? Because, uh, you know, I mean, we do a lot of kind of like silly talk sometimes. We do a lot of BS. It's kind of, you know, it's, it should be fun, okay? Making coffee should be fun in the morning. Because I don't take that coffee seriously. I do and I don't. But I think it should be, okay? I mean, the other day, uh, one of my viewers, write a long paragraph on my comment section there. Shout out to Fred. So Fred, uh, give me that recipe. So I'm going to be trying that. He's, uh, I think he got that uh, recipe from uh, Scott Rouse. We're going we're gonna to play with. By the way, I mean, <clears throat> if you guys have a great recipe, let me know. Uh, uh, we can try on my uh, channel. <clears throat> By the way, that's the great thing about the live, uh, live streaming. Because I don't have to plan anything. I mean, if you guys want to know something, I can jump in and uh, we can start doing the live, uh, live demo as well, live demonstration. So, by the way, I'm getting some uh, new coffees coming in next couple of days. I'm really, uh, one coffee I'm very excited about and the, the other coffee, I mean, I, I even more excited about. So I got uh, two coffees coming in today and Saturday. So should be a lot of fun. I cannot wait for that one. I cannot wait. All right, guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, and I'm going to see you guys this afternoon.